<laughs> Hello and welcome to Welcome to the Game. That sounds really weird saying that. Welcome to Welcome to the Game. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to the game. Uh, somewhat requested game for me to play. So I'll be giving it a a decent go. Maybe, maybe a large video, 20 minutes long of me trying to play this game. I saw how the game ends by watching a YouTuber who beat it already. So I got the gist of how it ends, which is typical. I mean, it, I'm not going to spoil if no one else has seen it, but I'm going to give it a go. See if the game can spook me, because I wasn't spoiled absolutely by how the horror mechanics work, just simply how the ends. Outside of that, let's get into it and see what kind of things can spook me in this game. Uh, a hidden surface on the deep web to see and participate in interactive torture and murder. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. The only other thing I know about this game is that if there's someone who can kill me in the room with me, they can hear my microphone, so if I hear noises, I have to be shh. Ah, uh, yes, tutorial. Hey, yeah, so, are you sure you want to do this? The deep web is full of fucked up shit. Even worse, a red room. There's some things you can Even worse, a red room. Eh, yeah, torture scenes. Just, deep web is, deep web is bad shit. Don't say I didn't warn you. Deep web is like a giant maze. There is no search engine. So you have to do some exploring to find what you were looking for. First thing. This guy is really quiet, and he's talking slowly. Mm-hmm. If a site you visit is not up, try again a couple hours later. How am I going to be playing this, like, a week without eating or getting off the computer? Serious? <laughs> Depends how fast time moves. Oh my god. When you explore the deep web, you're exposed to hackers. Yes. These hackers will attempt to hack you, but don't worry. Uh, I might just skip ahead and read this and painstakingly just understand how this guy is going to explain how the game works. I don't want you guys to have to suffer through this. <laughs> Make people who are really paranoid, but I, I can't be paranoid in my surroundings. I mean, like, I have... My, my room's bright, so... Yeah. Well, that's it. Still, I'm sure I'll get a little paranoid, probably. So he says, good luck, we can search the web. If I think someone's around, we can turn off the lights. But what's the point of having the lights on at all? Why not just keep it all off at the same time? I'm sure people who play this game or watched more people play would understand what it means. But, I mean, I'm going to turn it up a little bit because he, he was super quiet. Okay, it's super fucking loud. Hopefully if I do die, it's not super, super fucking loud. Alright, let's get into the web! Yeah! And wallet. Only thing I, I also know, spoiler or spoiler or not, is, uh... Anything that has to do with weed is evil. I don't know why. Let's try to find... I don't know, that doesn't work. We're gonna be trying to find... Um... We're gonna be trying to find a website that has, of course, the, uh... Ah, the secret. So we have to read through this crap. The rules are simple. Black hat post. We have to look for the secret code. I'm not sure if it's going to be here. I'm not even sure if I should submit a post, but we're supposed to be looking for a number, a dash, and a code. A four-digit code. I don't think this has one, but it'll be able to be hidden in here. I'm not sure how or where. Let's make a response. Nope. Apparently not. Never mind. So that website could be useless. Maybe. Useless. Burned out the stake. Useless. Ah, okay. Anonymous node. What? You have been chosen. You have always been awake. Seek it and shall be found. Nothing will be achieved without time and tenacity. Question it and shall be earned. Look. Or look, listen, learn, brothers and sisters, continue search, reject hatred, hatred, and embrace love. The fuck is this shit? Hm. What? 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 Ding! Am I supposed to be pressing buttons on this thing? 
Um, what? What? Oh, okay, hitting that was supposed to be... What? I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be... Something about this, but okay. Apparently I'm going to be hitting and doing trial and error for a long time, and... Yeah, okay. What am I doing? Ah, great. Trial and error with all these now. Oh, we got it! Excellent, first try. Uh, damn it. So this one, this one, triangle, that one, and excellent. All right, now, ah, uh, ah, uh, wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, we're being, we're being hatched! Oh, shit! First time. Let's see how it is. DOS blocker. Oh, okay. Down, down, speed it up. Oh, I, I'm not impressed, hacker. You, you suck. God damn it. I hope not all the puzzles are like this, where it's just clicking these buttons. I'm hoping I'm doing this to get a code. Oh, oh no, yep. I heard someone walk in the house. I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to do this for. But this room is too dark. I don't like it. I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to wait for it to be for it to be clear. I have no idea. I'm going to be paranoid though. I'm going to be super fucking paranoid. Like really, really paranoid. I have to get back to that site and try to finish it off. It's 2.45 a.m. now. We gotta get back to this stupid puzzle. Oh, no, don't tell me it changed. It changed. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Okay, so it's the right, bottom left this time. Still that one. God damn it. Someone will probably tell me in the comments below that I was right and you're supposed to do this or avoid death by looking at something that I was not aware of. Well, God damn it. I'm, I can only learn so much. I don't play these games while doing heavy research, so I know absolutely what I'm doing. I like to play in ignorance, mildly. Void. Sniff. Dis capitals matter. Void. Oh, whoops. Void. Dump. Oh, const. Easy. All right. Someone's probably in her house again. Probably. God damn it. I can't remember which one I clicked on that one too. Now. God damn it. It's another thing I forgot. It's talking. Don't talk. I left the microphone option on so people can hear me talk. Apparently I'm already on day two. I've been surfing for 24 hours. I keep getting that human thing wrong. Which one is it? Alright, we got a fucking you... We got a URL from that. Oh, we leveled up. What? Well, I, I want to do that. So I'm going to write it. There. I'm going to enter that in my note. That's going to get to the next level. <sighs> Wait, read me. It's Adam again. No! I think the coast is clear. Going back to this. Uh, I just found that the Red Room is only available for 30 days. Oh. Okay. So I have to beat this in 28 more days. Okie dokie. Well, that's loud as fuck. Can I mute my speakers? Don't tell me there's a fucking code in there. I think there could be. Mmm, 
I'm gonna examine this and hope there's no code in here, but I, I have no choice. If there's a code in there that's usable, that's sort of a dick move to have to possibly scan through all that. I... I, I don't know. I don't know, fuck it. Hopefully not. Ah! The code! Finally! Three, okay. Uh... Oh, great. They took the fucking URL. I got hacked and apparently lost my fucking note. Great. Fucking great. That really bugs me. It means... I have to do that fucking puzzle all over again. Apparently. Great. Not this time. Alright, so there's one code. Great. As long as it's saved. It is. I got the one code. I, I think you get one code per deep wiki level. So I'm gonna check the last. I'm gonna check the last two and then do the puzzle and move on. I'm getting really used to those. These, these are just sort of common sense now of how to beat them. But outside of that, I think I'm I'm done this. I'm gonna move on. Hmm. Nope. Hi. Do I even look like I'm scared? I, I've been, so I was kidnapped. I was looking for the code. It, the game, honestly, to me, is a bit boring. I'm not sure what the hype is all about. I mean, being jump scared by surroundings being sort of you, you can't trust your surroundings kind of game. I, it's nothing too special, and also I'm gonna show... See, Mike was on the entire time, just in case, like, some people turn it off and fake it. Um... It's boring. Here... I spend a lot of my time looking through the internet as it, so to have a game... I'm gonna turn down this volume so I can at least hear myself. To have a game where... The whole point of it is searching and... Finding website 404, 404, 404, this website doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. Oh, there's a code in here. It's... It's... It's boring. It's... Trying to figure out which dead end is in a dead end and finding a code... Like, hidden in it, it's just... There's no meat to it, I mean... For me, I guess it's just not my kind of game, because it's really fucking boring. I, I'm looking for a code while avoiding a guy that's trying to kill me. The whole, you know, you can't trust your surrounding is fine, but in this hacking gimmick, I, I don't, I, I don't get it. I, it's not spooky. I got caught, and it was completely random, and I didn't get jump scared. I just, that's all it's got going for it. So if that doesn't affect me, then all it is I'm doing recording this is looking for fucking convoluted codes and a bunch of website where, if there's, say, 20 links, 17 of them don't fucking work! What the fuck am I doing that for? Why? It's it's a waste of time. It, it's it's like a, a five-minute game that was constructed on the basis of trying to... You know, like, say, let's say, um... Hmm... Say we have... We have this whole potato chip, okay? We have this whole potato chip. This game, in content, is is this chip, this piece of chip. And what they do is, they... I'm gonna, I'm gonna crumple it now. I'm, I'm crumpling it! And this is my bucket. Now there's the content. That little chip piece is part of the whole game. And the crumbs that are now all over my fingertips, increasingly enough, is, uh, is the codes that I'm looking for. Eating that little chip, the, those crumbs, that's not enough content. That, that's not enough content. That's, uh, that's crumbs. And the whole game itself is just that little chip piece. Which was scattered everywhere. And you putting the crumbs together does not make a whole fucking potato chip. And when you eat that whole potato chip, like this... Here's the whole potato chip. A normal game. 
Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. That's my analogy for today. It's, a bit, it's not a whole potato chip. It's a piece. It's crumpled in crumbs. The crumbs aren't enough to satisfy my hunger. I need more. I'm gonna be eating like the, this bucket I put in, like, in a little container of, of potato chips when I'm done this recording. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, my take of potato chips and welcome to the game. If you did and it wasn't too boring, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, and become a full subscriber. And until the next time, boom. eat shrimp. No, no, my babies. Uh... Oh no, that noise. God. Oh, I'm just picturing someone obnoxiously chewing a shrimp in their mouth, like. <laughs> <laughs>